Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in South of the Circle. This was developed by State of Play Games, published by 11-Bit Studios and is usually available for £10.74 but this week is on sale for £7.51 slash $9.09 dollary bags and cents. Um, so always check out for a future sale. So this is just a fast achievement guide and I'll tell you why. So this game plays more like a narrative, deep, emotional, multi-layered cinematic story. We play as Peter who, after crashing deep in the armpits of Cold War Antarctica, has to find a way to get out, but his whole life pretty much flashes before his eyes as we see what he was like and who he was with prior to this mega crash. Now achievements wise, very, very easy. We need to interact with a few certain items through the game and the rest are story related. It is easy, but note, if you do end up missing one item somehow, there is no chapter select or replay, but the other items that you do pick up, stay picked up. So you'll just have to play the game up until that item that you need. Now, as I said, this is only a quick guide because the rest of the game is literally dialogue and the paths you take are so linear, they're just really obvious so you can really never get lost. Plus the dialogue choices uh, that you have to make through the game do not matter at all throughout, so don't panic, you cannot get it wrong. All in all, it'll take around three hours or so to get the full 1k, so with that being said then, let's begin. And the first achievement that we will get is about five or six minutes into the game. Again, there'll be a lot of dialogue here as we reveal our crash. We can begin walking, heading towards the red light, and the onto the ice achievement is going to unlock. There it is. Unbelievable start, but yes, like I said, so in between each achievement, there is going to be a ton of scenes and a ton of dialogue that we cannot skip. So just enjoy the story as we go along. So about 15 minutes in, we are going to come up to the British base. And again, like I said, the paths are very linear. So this will always be the first hut that you sort of come into. So again, it's literally just as easy as pressing and holding the A button to jump in. And we begin here and go, hello, is anybody, yeah? A big cutscene will happen, and then we will get to this point after said scene. So when we begin, we can, uh, or when we regain control, uh, regain control of Peter, we can head up the stairs, very gingerly and slow. It is a very slow-paced game, so just to be aware, you need to interact with these two pieces of paper. So you can press and hold the A button, uh, skip through it by pressing down on the left stick or up, whichever way it is. Then we can just press the B button to back out. Go ahead and interact with the next piece of paper. Peter, you stink. Who the hell's been screwing with this thing? Uh, no, we could, <laughs> that's all we have to do is just interact with the two pieces of paper and back out. And there's nothing else upstairs. We can just now head back down. I mean, if I was that cold, I'd be shutting the windows and warming myself up with a cheeky cup of brew. But, uh, well, that's all good, isn't it? Now, head into the back right room, which is just past the kitchen. Look at that, fully functioning everything. You can tell that's a Brit's kitchen. It's just full of tea and, oh, tea and crumpets and bad teeth pictures. So as we get into the next room here, there's a medicine bottle directly in front of you, which we are going to pick up. Because again, apparently all British people have bad teeth. It's, uh, it's the joke the Americans have used forever. So yeah, we'll take it. Press the B button to back out. Now head to the right and you're gonna see a little typewriter right in the back right corner there. So we need to interact with that as well. So remember, it was the two pieces of paper you should have interacted with upstairs, the medicine bottle and this typewriter. So that's be four items that you've interacted with in this particular house. So after those two are done, what we can do now is just head left out the door. You actually have to go past. I, yeah, I kind of somehow ended up missing that, which is just, uh, well, that's good of me, isn't it? Uh, no, the left door, there it is. Now, it's a bit of a walk around, but you see the house just in the background, in the distance. That's what we've got to do. So we're going to have to walk around uh, this building here to our right first. So make sure to also interact with the car. Now this does count, I believe, as one of the interactive items as when you try to interact with it, it does get locked and the lock symbol will come up. So interact with the car before heading up to the background house. And 
And then when we finally reach the background house, like I said, uh, Peter's very slow moving, although it is the cold armpit of Antarctica. We're going to end up in here. Now, after a cut, fiddling around with the radio and a lot more dialogue, we eventually will find this map or we will interact with said map. And the achievement there, Sleuth, will unlock. Then we can interact with the keys. Like I said, there is nothing that you can miss because anything that we need to interact with will always come up on screen. So you literally can't miss a thing. Then just head back down, get into the car, and then we can start driving to the Soviet base. So you would have got the sleuth achievement, the keys, and on you go. Again, of course, there's going to be a whole bunch more scenes and dialogue before we get here. The Soviet base. Ah, this is nice. So, of course, we very gingerly get out because we're, we're injured. We're extremely British, extremely English. Um... Yeah, you, you can be English, but apparently the peak of being very English is if you're from Oxfordshire or Cambridgeshire, you know, the accent and all. Uh, anyway, keep heading here towards the red door. Peter's going to make a little point of what the big booby ball looks like up there. In just a moment, here he goes. It's a Soviet boob. B base. It's a Soviet base, sorry. So, uh, yep, <laughs> That's, of course we're not looking at the ball, we're looking at the flag, of course. Anyway, don't worry, like I said, there are no enemies in this game, by the way, at all whatsoever. So you literally have naught to worry about, my little darlings. But anyway, after Peter finds this random rock just chilling on his own, smashes through the door, that is when we're going to get the Diplomatic Relations Achievement. This, this one is, again, story-related, and it basically begins Act 2 of L Story. <laughs> So the achievement finally unlocks here, and after Peter has a little look around and stops crapping his pants, as it were, we can now just simply interact with the bed. And there's going to be a couple of things to interact with, plus we get into quick achievements. Which, if we I, I forget how long we're into the game now, but it probably feels like about six hours um, into the game. It's not six hours into the game, but it definitely does feel like it. Especially if you're not really into the interactive uh, sort of cinematic stuff. Anyway, after a bit more dialogue, we can finally interact with these toy, um, toy toys, the toy soldiers. You're just going to shoot each one down and the toy general achievement will unlock. Like I said, there's going to be a bit of dialogue and a few more scenes before we can interact with this bit. So make sure to smash down all three. Then from here, obviously after pressing the B button to back out, just uh, left of the door, there is a globe right on your sort of chest of drawers type looking things. Um, so interact with the globe. Peter can be a bit iffy to control. He kind of look, he kind of controls and looks like he's crapped his pants consistently, but he's uh, just left it in his pants. So anyway, uh, after interacting with the globe, go to the right. You don't need to interact with the door. It's just going to be a lot of dialogue between the shouty parents. So interact here with the toy plane. It's in the dark, so you can't see it, but it is on the right, just by the bed. And that is what is that is what gets you the pilot achievement. So, like I said, in this room alone, you should get the pilot achievement here, the toy soldier achievement, uh, or toy general achievement, and interacting with the globe. That counts to the scholar achievement later on. So, three items to interact with. And now you can simply just let the scene play out. You can open the door if you want, but you're literally just waiting for the scene to play out. So, next, after said cutscene, we end up in this uh, Soviet base room. Interacting with the electroconocution machine, and we end up in this little Scottish, this little Scot, this, uh, oh, I forget, I'm not doing a Scottish accent. Anyway, you need to interact with a couple of things here. So the kettle will be the first one after the dialogue. Uh, two places on the bookshelf. So it doesn't matter which order you do it in, but make sure it's the kettle, the two bits on the bookshelf, the height chart on the left hand side, and finally, make sure that you've left this record here player for last. So that's five things to interact with. The kettle, the two bookshelves, the height chart, and um, leaving the record player for last. So after you've done that, and you'll finally get through the Scotland dish now. Uh, yeah, terrible. Now you can just go ahead and interact with the radio after we turn the light on. And again, after a few more scenes and a bit more dialogue with Pink Floyd, the cartographer achievement will unlock, and that is for studying all of the maps so um yeah it's uh, going well so far so how are you enjoying the story anyway y y you hoping that clara and peter go pew, 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 you know get it on 
Get it on and stuff. Anyway, uh, no time to talk. This is going to be for the uh, basically ending Act 2 and starting Act 3. From <laughs> from the last point, it did get um, quite dialogue-y, a lot of cutscenes, so it's actually nice to unlock this achievement. Or <laughs> unlock a achievement. Seems like it's been a while since we have last. So after you fall down then, you will be you'll begin Act 3 and unlock the Wake Up Achievement. So we are going to get the Scholar Achievement uh, rather quickly. Well, I say rather quickly, of course, we've got a few more scenes and a lot more dialogue to get through yet, but you know what I mean. So as we begin, we're going to head for the obvious looking red door straight in front of us. Eventually. Come on, Pete, you've just got a little boo-boo on your arm, pal. Come on. Come on, you can make it, buddy. Je Jeez. <laughs> Don't you know we got stuff to do, broski? Come in. Maybe I could have edited this bit out. Uh, no, no, it's okay, we made it. So, after you interact with the door, you're going to get yet another cutscene, and then eventually you will end up actually inside. Make sure to interact here with the paper on the left. There's only one thing to interact with in this hut, and it is this telegram. So, after you've interacted with that, we can now press the B button to back out. There we go, and we can just simply head back out. So head to the right, there you go, head to the right ever so slightly, back yourself out, and now what you can do is just head to the right and go basically straight up now. We're going into the other hut. Like I said, I, I wouldn't lie to you, this game is as linear as a straight line piece of pear. Piece of pear. So after interacting with this door, you're going to get yet again another long cutscene where you oh, meet with the general ambassador or something. And there's going to be one piece of paper directly in front of us here to interact with. After you've interacted with this, that is going to be the Scholar Achievement done and dusted. So hopefully you would have gone around with all the items, picked up all the same items that I have throughout the game, and the Scholar Achievement will unlock. If it didn't, then you probably have missed one item and you may just have to replay the game again, I'm afraid. So after the last point anyway, you just go out the door, keep going straight, and you end up in this Norwegian vehicle. And that's all good. Um, but what it's going to do is actually get us the survivor achievement. So after getting inside and messing around with a few things, pressing a few buttons, we will then be able to see a flare in the distance. And we will then be able to interact with the key to start it. And that is what is going to unlock us the, nah, nah, the survivor achievement. Sorry, the nah, nah, sort of filled in time while I realized uh, what achievement this was. Um, so that is the Survivor Achievement done, so that should already be 9 out of 10 achievements, and the final one is literally for just finishing the game, which you will do after about another 45 minutes of gameplay. So, after the 45 minutes are up and you've got through the game, and, well, however you feel the ending, I thought the ending was a bit, um, I didn't, I wasn't a big fan personally. Um, I always like a happier ending. But anyway, I'll leave you to uh, deal with that. But afterwards, anyway, this is after the credits. This is where you will get the Finn achievement. Eventually, it'll pop up. As soon as it does, there it is. So that's the Finn achievement done. And that's that then, guys and gals. So three hours and about three hours, 15 minutes of pure heavenly joy and incredible emotion and all that jazz. But that should be you on 10 out of 10 achievements all done for South of the Circle. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game. Hope you enjoyed the guide as well. If it did help, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. Legends of the highest quality order. And that's that thing, guys and girls. So, I'll see you in the next one. Ba-ba-ba-ba-ba. Big live.